Hello gorgeous Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. So you may see a sign or a symbol or something that really resonates on one of the cards. Um, the imagery, perhaps, that has a message for you there. So take notice of these things. So we have the gorgeous card of the unicorn. And the key word here is infinite possibilities. And it says, you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness, Capricorn. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. So I'm seeing a transformation taking place with these butterflies. I'm also seeing there is magic around you that will take place, synchronistic events and things like that. I'm feeling a very angelic energy for this card for you, Capricorn. I'm feeling that this week a blessing from the angels um, is coming through, is going to show up in your life in some way. So have an expectation toward that because that's what I'm seeing. Um, listen to the spirits of light. So that's the angelic energy and abandon the darkness, any negativity, any thoughts or emotions on that wavelength, any relationships on that wavelength. Um, any actions, you know, just abandon it. It's not for you. It's not for you. All right, let's see your next card, the coyote. Uh, revealer of truth. Okay, so we have a reveal of truth happening this week. Perhaps it's happened recently for you. That is possible. Don't take things too seriously. Okay, so try and be as lighthearted as you can this week, no matter what is going on in your life. Make time to play, do things that you want to do, that you love to do, a hobby or an interest perhaps. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Beautiful. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. Yeah, learn from uh, the traps and tricks of life, the mistakes or the, you know, the circumstances that you see that are unfair or... Um, whatever it may be here. So that's important. That's important for you to know. Um, but something will be revealed to you. A co conversation, a message may take place um, or is going to be sent to you. Um, there is some truth going to be known by you this week. A very important reveal. So that's going to be different for each and every one of you, of course. Let's see, Capricorn. Let's see what spirit wants to bring through. Okay. So we have embrace your emotions. Yes, embrace your emotions. Don't block them out. Embrace them. Um, see if they're light or dark. Analyze them. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. So don't push anything to the side. Really look at your shadow side or emotions that you may not like. Or maybe perhaps that is what is going to be revealed. Some emotions that you have for someone. Um, that you didn't know existed or perhaps some emotions from the past may surface okay it's going to be different for everyone but very important energy is right there for you capricorn all right let's see with this deck here this card simple acts of kindness yeah um, pay it forward simple acts of kindness kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you Simple acts of kindness. It's going to go a long way this week. What can I say? Simple things. Going to influence you energetically on an amazing level as well as others, of course. So, yes, that's what they're encouraging you to participate in here, Capricorn. I love it. And this card here, they're actually saying these two at the top here. So I'll take that one as well. Push to the surface and blend into the environment. Okay, so push to the surface. Time for breakthrough. See, the ocean here can be symbolic for emotions. So I feel that these two cards are connected very strongly. Push to the surface. 
uh, push to the surface the emotions that have been suppressed. Mm -hmm. You may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics in your life. Okay, so look at the patterns, look at the dynamics. Become aware of what's really, truly going on. There will be a reveal. So that may be linked here. It's right above. Blend into the environment like an octopus. You may have, uh, you have many skills. And I was going to say you may have um, many skills, abilities. But actually what I'm feeling is that there is something Un, um, undiscovered yet okay that's the message that yeah I'm being told by spirit um, but this card it says you have many skills and can fit into any situation take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly that's something to take on board you can you've got the skills you can adapt to any situation you can you definitely can so don't doubt that have confidence in that in your ability to do that to adapt um, and to also that yes the energy of assessing what's going on around you not not brushing over anything that you see that might be of concern or um, yeah there's nothing passing you by here you may in fact see or hear some things that others might not and it might be really relevant to your workplace perhaps or your career or something else going on. Let's see, we have expectation and destiny, beautiful. So with destiny, acknowledge your mission, align with your purpose and you have gifts to share with the world. Something is going to be uncovered when it comes to a gift that you have that is a, going to be of service to the world as a gift you're going to uncover it I feel that for some that's what this revealer of truth is about okay that's a big one yep expectations be open for whatever comes next it might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear be open to whatever comes have an expectation for great things Yes, have an expectation for great things. Your expectation is going to actually guide a manifestation, a reality that you will be in um, just in the near future, Spirit is telling me. So that is that is key. Let's see with this deck of cards, please, Spirit for Capricorn. Let's see. All right, let's take a look at this center card for you. Let's see what it reveals. The high priestess is about intuition, going within the cycles of life, understanding that something may be coming to an end so a new birth, a new energy can enter. You're going to be deeply intuitive. Um, you're going to get gut feelings about someone or about a situation that you've been thinking about. Um, this week okay so something this week is going to come through intuitively very very strongly listen to this listen to this heed its advice I feel an inspiration is coming as well an inspirational idea um, yes inspirational idea I'm also seeing here uh, the moon energy here. Perhaps there's a Pisces around you significant in your life, but also, you know, it's the phases of the moon, which are important this week in your life energetically and strength. This is Leo's card. You may have a Leo around you um, strength. So you're taming the beast or being aware of the shadow side being aware of all of the facets going on within you so your emotional side your mental uh, body your physical body so it's about blending these energies and harmonizing and balancing out these energies that's what i'm seeing for some strength also is about fortitude and having strength to carry on and to be persistent in achieving a goal or something you want in your life okay so that this card may be um, addressing that for you maybe suggesting here have you know draw on your inner strength have that fortitude and persistence and just continue to move forward 
the page of rods is a message a message i feel that's connected in here to the revealer of truth your eyes are going to be open to something here your eyes are going to be open perhaps it's open to something negative that's around you or been happening in your life without you knowing about it up to this point but it might also be um, opening your eyes to your to your gifts to the blessings that are in your life and um, to a higher vision okay it may also be that um, so keep keep a keep a lookout for that energy and, and those messages coming through um, it's an awareness really Yes, that's the energy and awareness. It may come through a conversation or a text message, an email. It might come through communicating with spirit. I mean, that is possible. Yes. The Ten of Cups is happiness. You're serene. There is peace in this card and this energy. Being very, um, very sensitive, very uh, intuitive, grounded to the earth, but connected to the heavens. Bring through a message from heaven. You might be a channeler or a light worker in some respect or developing those abilities. And the cups around you here. So happiness in the family or, or in an area of life emotionally where things have been tumultuous. The Ten of Cups brings peace. There's also a new beginning because the 10 is the one numerologically moves into the one. So a new beginning is going to happen very soon emotionally, which is actually fantastic because you're embracing your emotions and you're going to start to have um, new emotional experiences in a positive way. The four of rods. OK, this is a celebration for some. You're going to be celebrating. There's a, a nice energy here of connection with others. You might be hiking, traveling, um, going on an adventure in some respect as well. This is a harmonious family life. Um, you have you. There's an energy here of you building up your life to a certain level standard security because of the four. Your actions have achieved this. Okay, beautiful. Your actions have achieved it. Um, so be proud of that. If you're in that place right now, be proud of it. Um, and if you're working towards it, that's okay. Because this, this, the oldest cards here in this reading are pointing that to, for you to know that you're getting to this level. So beautiful energy. I hope you've enjoyed the reading Capricorn. It's been really wonderful to read for you. And I hope that um, you've received some guidance out of this reading. It's been helpful for you in some small way. If you did like the reading, you can click the like button or subscribe to the channel if you would like to, if you haven't already. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.